Okay, okay, before we start our session, um, so you did receive the three-day bath. Would you like any type of clarity? Um, yeah, I don't really, I know some stuff about it. Um, Floyd is the one who, uh, I think talk to you more about it. He knows more. Um, I'm just kind of trying to follow mm -hmm. him. Okay. And... Mm -hmm. uh, take his advice. So I don't know exactly what they're for. We haven't used them yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let me explain because I am the one who prepared it for you. And um, I thank you for your continuous support. So what I did for you and your husband is um, a three-day bath each. And this three-day bath is more so like a spiritual detox and bath. It's like a spiritual cleanse, you know. Um, you know, when New Year come around, everyone has New Year's resolution. They want to clean up their place. You know, they want to keep it nice and fresh. But for what? But what are you doing for your own spirit? What are you doing for your aura? Because you want to attract abundance. You want to attract prosperity. You want to attract good health. You know, good fortune, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? So some people, many people will. You know, many people use tools. And what you have, which I prepared, is a tool to help you attract all of the things that you want to attract coming, the, you know, the new year coming. So for 2016, you know, say, for example, you're, you're looking for more money or you're looking for good health or you're looking to, you know, move to a new place or whatever it is, whatever your intentions are, you want to take this spiritual detox and bath so that it can come to you. Because one thing about the spirit realm and one thing about, you know, your spirit guides and your angels, um, they don't want to deal with you if your aura is not right, you know, if your spirit is not right. If your spirit is dirty, who wants to deal with a dirty person? Yeah. You know? So you're just cleansing yourself. It's just like a spiritual detox and cleanse. So what you're going to do is, and I will recommend, um, I did tell Flo, I did tell him, to do it next week um, for the, the full moon, but I, um, I am now aware that today marks the winter solstice, rather today or tomorrow. So what you can do is you can take, um, if you choose to, you can take one bath today and you can take one bath tomorrow, definitely tomorrow, okay? And then you can also take the last bath on the full moon, which is December 25th. Okay. Okay. And again, this is if you choose to, or you can take all three baths next weekend. I all I only recommend taking these baths um during the full moon, only due to the energy, you know. And anytime when the full moon comes about, it's like potency, you know, more powerful. And also the winter solstice. Anytime you go like on a on a fast or on a meditation or you know, on a spiritual cleanse is more powerful. I, too, will be taking, you know, the spiritual detox and bath around this time, too, only because I want a deeper cleanse. So what you're going to do is you're going to run the bath water, and you're going to sit in the bath water, and you're just going to pour the solution over your body from head to toe. So, you, yes, you're going to get your hair um, wet, and all is going to be all in your hair because you're cleansing. It's more so of a cleansing bath. A spiritual detox. You know when you detox your body and things start to come out of you? That's the same thing. Yeah. Okay? You, you, you're, you're, you're understanding me, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Do you have any questions moving forward? No, I think I understand it now. <laughs> yeah, you understand it now. Good. And you know, when he did inbox me, um, I believe I was perhaps, you know, doing a million things at once, but I don't never neglect my clients, so I try to answer him as soon as possible, but now you have a little bit more clarity, and again, this session is being recorded, so um, as soon as possible, I will post it, and you can look over it, and then just get the information, but basically, you can take the bath rather tonight, tomorrow, or the full moon. All you have to do is sit in a bath water, run your bath water, um, you know, and also I also recommend my clients to set your own intentions. And what I mean by setting your own intentions is what is your purpose of taking this spiritual bath? 
you know, um, is it for 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 good fortune? Is it for health? Is it what whatever it is for you? Set your intentions before taking the bath. Okay, put right. it out. Put it out in the universe. And if you have a white candle or a green candle, you can also um, light it up at that point too. That would be good. Okay, it just just amplifies whatever it is that you're doing. Okay. Oh, great. I'm excited. Okay, great. All right. So, moving forward now. Um, have you ever received a psychic medium reading before? Uh, yeah. Okay. So you do know that I will be channeling information from your spirit guides, and with me, I don't know how other people do it, but with me, more um uh, more so when I channel my client spirit guides. They tell me things that happen to you. They they try to familiarize me with who you are. So what they're going to do is tell me things about you that happened in the past, that is currently happening now, and that may happen in the near future. And what I also recommend my clients to do is ask specific questions so that you can receive specific question, um, answers. All right? That, that, that I feel that when my clients ask me questions, you get more of a reading, you know, you get more, I guess, more information or more out of a reading. That's just my own personal experience. But moving forward, um, I do have messages for you, so we can begin right now. You hearing me? Yeah. Okay, give me one second. Let me take a deep breath and listen to what they're saying. Give me a second. They're speaking to me about family. And they're telling me, listen, this is now the time to just keep in tune or be more family-oriented. So enough with trying to please other people or trying to be friends with this person or that person. It's all about your family. It's all about your husband. It's all about your... How many... You have children? How many children you have? Um, two. Okay. Well, it's all about them now. It's all about making them happy. It's all about you know, putting them in certain classes to enhance their skills. One of them, one of them likes music. Which one of them likes music? Or likes to play um, an instrument? Uh, my son really likes music, but he's only one and a half. Well, that's okay. That's, that's, <laughs> that's the great time to put him in some, um, some music lessons, or I'm seeing like he's drumming or something, like a drummer, or like um, playing like a, a guitar or something like that. That's the perfect time for him now to develop that talent in him because he's already shaking and moving. And another thing you have to understand that these children are very advanced. So he can be one years old, but you know, if you understand reincarnation, he's been here plenty, plenty times. And um, his father liked music, so I do believe that may be the reason why he's so much in tune with it. But the reason why I brought him up is because they're telling me it is now time for you to put him in some type of class or some type of, you know, something to just enhance his his skills. Um, because he's going to be a little star. He's going to be like a little rock star, very talkative, very outgoing, um, take initiative. He's going to be like a leader. So you want to begin to, you know, uh, what can I say, invest in him now is what they're saying. Family, family, family. I see the number six around you. So we're dealing with nurturing. We're dealing with health. We're dealing with, dealing with luxurious things. When is your birthday, actually? November 20th. Okay, November 20th. Oh, so you're like borderline Scorpio. Okay, give me a second. Yeah, you're dealing with two. Okay, well, the number two, because 20th is dealing with two, so you're dealing with both the physical aspect and the spiritual aspect where sometimes you, it may collide or sometimes it may come into conflict with another. What I mean by conflict is you know how sometimes when your spirit tells you to do something but you don't listen to your spirit or you rather second guess what you're listening? That's like a conflict, okay? Are you are yeah. you familiar with what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's like the number. I do that an awful lot. That's what I'm saying. That's the number two. So you dealing with balancing. So now is I guess the time for self evaluation within yourself and also within your family, within your bloodline. Um, give me a second. 
How was your uh uh-uh, this they're, they're telling me something about your your uh your childhood. What happened there? What's going on with your childhood? Uh, I had a pretty bad one. My mom, uh, yeah. you know those moms who care more about their boyfriends than their kids? Okay, that's what has happened. Okay, all right. No, okay, so now, okay, so I'm getting somewhere here. So from childhood, you had this, I guess, how would you call it, um, a negligent, a, the, a mother who neglected her child, okay, do because of her boyfriend. So you had a mother like that. So you, per se, was yearning for that mother love or looking for that mother love, rather you knew it or not. So now, where you are at now is like a shift. You don't want to be that mother that your mother was. So now, because you didn't have a proper childhood or a loving childhood or someone to pay attention to you now it's time for you to give it back to your children so that's the cycle where I'm seeing you at this particular moment now only because and, and again I'm just feeling the energy of family 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 so again it may it and as I told you before your spirit guides are going to tell me things that happened to you from the past present and future so we are dealing from issues from pertaining to family from your childhood to now adulthood. Um, so you want to begin to release that. Do you feel, do sometimes you do, what is your relationship with your mom now? Uh, well, there was never any apologies mm. or it's never talked about. So yeah. we just kind of act like nothing ever happened because <clears throat> I have this uh, problem where I can't, I can't just stop talking to her because I feel like I'm being mean because she is my mom. She is your mom, yeah. So I just kind of not talk to her. And my dad is the same way. He's a, um, an alcoholic, so there was no uh, attention from him either mm. as a child. Um, and he left my mom when I was four. So it's with both of them, and neither of us, that I don't talk to either of them about it. They don't. They get very defensive and angry, and they want to fight with you, and... Mm-hmm. They don't want to acknowledge what they have done. They don't want to take responsibility. So secretly, or um, to set you free and to give you closure, you have to just forgive them. Forgive them not because they forgive them not because they deserve the forgiveness, but forgive them to set yourself free, to let things go, to release the pain, to release you know, or to rather give yourself closure. Because, again, this family issue or this family energy is really, really big with you. And, again, you might have, you know, it's just speaking to you and picking up on your energy. You're a bit scarred from that. So you want to just, you know, heal or patch up your uh, patch up your stitches in a sense. Because sometimes it will come, it'll, it'll be situations where you may react a certain way in your family you know, in your relationship with your husband because you never had that from your father or you never had that coming from your mother, you know, so you don't know how to react or you don't know how to treat someone else only because you wasn't taught, you know, and it's okay because now you are an adult. Now you have forgave your mother or is trying to mend things with your mother but honestly you have to do a little 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 bit more spiritual work um give me a second you have to do a little 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 bit more spiritual work and i feel like this affirmations is what they're saying release affirmations is what they're telling me releasing letting go letting go of the pain letting go of the fact that your father was an alcoholic letting go that you wish that he could have been better for you you have to let it go because you can't you ha- you cannot how can i say you can't go back into the past whatever is, you're you grown you you're a woman now you got a man your husband your fa- you know the father of your children you have two children you got to let that go and i know it's it's challenging because that's it's part of you but you cannot continue or you cannot resonate on this frequency it won't be healthy for you you can't you have to i guess rejuvenate your your aura and 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 that bath will help you to do so that that bath will help you to cleanse 
old issues or old emotions or old um, situations that happen to you pertaining to your family life. That's a big, that's a very, very big thing. Give me a second. Do you have a lot of aunties? Uh, yeah. I see, I see your aunties and stuff. Uh, were they supportive or they weren't supportive as well? I feel... Um, they were kind of supportive. Yeah, I feel like they were more supportive than your own mom. And I feel like the reason why they were a little bit supportive is because they felt bad, you know, that your mom, you know, was the way she was. But honestly speaking, um, she had a mom. You Do you know your grandmother? Oh, yeah, she's a wonderful mom. Both of my parents have amazing parents. That's what I'm saying. She had a mom. So it's just her as a person. Because I would, I would, I would trace it back, you know, in a situation like this, I would trace it back and say, you know, well, her mother was like that, and that's the reason why she's like that, but no, 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 not in this case. This case is, your grandmother was a wonderful mother, but it's just her as a person that turned out that way, and then guess what? It skipped you, because you as a person, you're a wonderful mother, so it's, I guess it's like, uh, it may be a gift and a curse at the same time where it might skip generations and you never know. And not to say, you know, that this is the way your daughter will be because I'm not wishing that. But your daughter may even um, portray certain characteristics of her grandmother, which is your mother. But the way you would do it is by being there for her. The way you will reverse it, the way you will prevent it is by being there for her. And that's the reason why your spirit guides are telling me now it's all about family um, with you or dedicating your time or just, you know, nobody else. It's just me and my family. It's just me and my children because it starts from young. It really, really starts from young. Um, How old is your daughter? Three. You have a daughter, right? Okay. Yeah, because I see a little girl here. Um, And then you have um a one-year-old son. Okay. Is she in ballet? Is she in any type of dancing? No. She likes to dance, though. Yeah, you need to put her in dancing. you got to put her in dancing, too. They're showing me dancing for her. Um, ballet, if she wants ballet. Um, some type of gymnastics. Something like that. But dancing is, is good with her. When was she born? What's the month? May 10th. Oh, May 10th. Okay. So she's a... She's a what is she, a Gemini here? Yeah. She's a Gemini, so we're dealing with the spirit and we're dealing with the physical. Um, Geminis, I will say, are the natural channelers. Like, what I'm doing, uh, communicating between the spirit and the physical realm. Do she come to you and tell you that she sees things? Or she has her friends, imaginary friends? Uh, well, I got a reading um, in August of 13. She was one years old, and... She, my grandfather had just passed away, and they were born on the same day. Mm. Um, I had the same birthday, and she, um, you know, said her first words to him. She told she was he was the first one she said she loved you to. Mm. Um, and she used to uh, wave to the wall, you know, in the space, and she used to be outside and go like running towards what I see as nothing. Mm. But running to someone with her arms open and mm. asking them to pick her up. Mm -hmm. So when I had gotten her, that's the only reason I got a reading to see, you know, what she, um, seeing him. And that's, that's what, um, the psychic did say that she can see things, mm -hmm. um, in the spirit, you know, spirit form. She, yeah, that's, it's confirmed. It's confirmed. Yeah, she, she definitely. She does. That's why I asked you, does she come and tell you, you know, I see, you know how children say, I have an imaginary friend and, you know, all of this stuff. But the, your daughter definitely with your daughter. Um, You want to keep amethyst with her. Um, Amethyst is a, a crystal, um, a psychic crystal uh, for healing and um, for, you know, developing your your psyche. I, o I always sleep with uh 
amethyst by my bed to help me with my dreams and to enhance my psychic abilities and things of that nature because I, you know, I channel every day all the time, so I got to be on point. So amethyst is a tool that I use um, to basically enhance my psychic ability or just to keep me balanced. So you want to give that to your daughter as well. Let me see where she comes from. Hmm. Oh, your daughter's an old soul. She is an old, 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 old soul. Um, she was once a healer. She was once a healer as well. You're gonna find that she likes to be in pools. You're gonna find that she. You're gonna find that she likes to go to the beach. She likes. She likes to be in water. You're gonna find that about her. That's a spirit. That's another spiritual aspect. Um, about her, and 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 again, I always say that water always deal with spirituality. So, um, say that again. No, I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. You're gonna find that what and and two. Uh, the, you know those baths are good for children too. Um, you can even. Oh really? Yeah, definitely. That that's this is not an adult thing. This is dealing with spirituality. These baths are good for children too. You want to cleanse your child's spirit. You want to cleanse her soul. You want to bring her, her, I guess, abilities out. You want to draw them out. And by doing so, you want to, you know, you want to cleanse her aura. It's good for children too. So I would recommend you do that for your daughter. Um, I'm not saying that you should do it for your son, which you, which you can do it for her, but they're so, they're more so recommending you take it for your daughter. And what I'm going to tell you to do, let me see what they're showing me. Okay. What you're going to do is, um, is there a botanica around you? Oh, no. No. Uh, is there any way that you can get some holy water? Um, I'm not sure. Hmm. Had I known, had, had you had this reading before, I could have set you up with a package. Um, but you, uh, this is what you're going to do. You're going to get a cup, just one cup for her. Okay. Um, and you're going to fill that the half of the cup with water, just regular distilled water. And then you, you can also pour the spiritual detox and bath and, you know, pour it, mix it up, but you also going to add holy water and you can just, you know, wash her body with that. And what is that going to do for her? Give me a second. That's going to actually help her to see, to see better, like to see, to, to enhance her psychic abilities. That's only if you want her to be on a spiritual level like that, you know. Um, but it's already in her, so you can't take it out of her. It's already in her. Um, you can't take it out of her. So, you know, it's rather you ignore it or you enhance it. So enhancing it, which your spirit guides are telling me, is that you should take like a one cup of water, you know, like um, you know, like those Seven Eleven cups, those big, those big like, or those uh, Burger King cups that they put soda in, that cup, that yeah. kind of cup. You want to fill half with with regular distilled water, and then the other half with um, with the uh, the spiritual detox and bath, and then two, you want to um add holy water and then when you bathe her you just pour it over her body and that's going to cleanse her spirit that's going to remove any negativity that's going to remove any emotional stress okay any emotional wow. any emotional stress because i see sometimes you know i don't know what happened with you in the womb but there's a lot of like um you know spirits like this 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 like She's a very emotional person, and I don't know if she's getting that from you or she's getting that from her father. I don't know who. Probably me. <laughs> oh, probably you. Okay, but um, you want to help her to balance that out, okay? You want to help her to balance that out, and from time yeah, to time. Yeah, she's very whiny. Yeah. She's very strong, strong willed. She does what she wants, and that's that. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm well, feelings, passion. Um, you know, she's a, she's a Gemini, so you, you, you never know with them. It could be, you never know if they want to be spiritual or they want to be physical, you know, do you want to be aggressive or you want to be nice, you know, which, which one do you never know with these people, 
you know, these Geminis, but they're, they're good people. You have any questions, actually? No. This is pretty cool. Okay, good. Uh, let, me, let, let me dig a little deeper. Um, you have your own business? Yes. Okay. That's going to go very well for you. You should actually start when you when you're prepared and I feel like after you you know start to cleanse yourself or perhaps like in three or four months you can start another business something small dealing with children um you will be very successful with that because I see that you have like this children's spirit with you and let me tell you one thing for sure I feel that you only you only experience what you experience to give back to people that didn't have. So to give back to children that don't have a mother or don't have a father. Have you ever thought about doing something like this? Like helping people that are less fortunate or families or ch Have you ever thought about that? Oh. Well, the main thing that I've struggled with is I know it's definitely hard because it takes away from your body and your family, but it is amazing. I've always been um, sad to see all these families who are on, like, waiting lists for adoption, mm. and they would make great parents, and they just cannot have children. But mm. they, it's something that you dream of. You know, when you really want a child, it's, like, all you think about, mm -hmm. and you can't get over that no matter what you do. There's no amount of money that would take away from not being able to have a child. Mm. Um so I always thought about being a surrogate for someone, mm. having a baby for them. But it's something that I struggle with because I have my own kids, and the pregnancies did not go very well for me. Mm -hmm. You know, emotionally, it really hurt my emotions. I was very um, aggressive and mean to their father, and so I don't, I don't want to put any more stress on my own family. But that is one thing that I've always thought about doing. Mm -hmm. um, I do work with kids now. I take, I do uh, photography, so I take their pictures and stuff. But um, I don't know what else I would do to give back to them. Yeah, yeah, Dylan. Something, anything with children that you have like your your passion for is very, very good. But because you came back to give back as well, yeah, you might have lived a awful childhood and that's what I was saying in terms of moving forward you have to release the pain you have to do these affirmations to like let go and be holistic again as you just as you just confirmed when you was pregnant with your other children you were very much aggressive that means that you still have a lot of tension inside of you and it will be it will be how can I say selfish or it will be um wrong for you or, or unrighteous for you to uh to nurture a child while your spirit yourself is not even nurtured okay you still have a lot of lingering or or back energy that you have to deal with so you can't you 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 shouldn't do that your children is your children fine but if you're going to do this and help someone else do it holistically and that's why i said in the near future, perhaps three or four months from now, or whatever, um, after you cleanse yourself, you need to get into something else. Because I, you, regardless of what, you're going to get into something else besides the business that you're already doing. Yeah, I'm very um, nervous gonna... about my business because I don't know. Like, I wish I could just see my own future, you know? because I don't know where it is going to go, and I have a lot of, um, I was gifted a, um, a pretty big um, inheritance, mm. a trust fund for my future, and I've spent a lot of that on this business, so I'm a little nervous as to, is it going to go far, or am I wasting a lot of my time, because I feel like I sometimes neglect my kids, Mm -hmm. I don't always play with them as much as I should because I'm working so hard to build this business because it's what our family has to, you know, survive right now and grow. So it's just frustrating. 
and and remember when I told you I remember when I told you it goes back to the number two balance between the physical and the spiritual. You got to do what your spirit wants, okay? And what when you follow what your spirit what when the physical body follows what the spirit wants, then you will be in alignment within yourself, and then everything else will fall into place. So I'm saying this to say that like. Once you begin to cleanse yourself, the first step for you, I'm going to tell you, the first step for you is cleansing. And for you, you may need a little bit more than just a three-day bath, honestly speaking. You may need like a, a, a two or three months of taking a three or four baths per week just because there's a lot of back issues that you have to get rid of, if you understand what I'm saying. Certain people come to me, they don't have as much issues as other people. But for you, because this, I guess, frequency or this um, emptiness started as a child, you have a lot of, lot of cleansing to do. And you may not even, you know, and if you don't choose to do the spiritual bath thing, that's fine. But affirmations is also good. And visualization is great. It's great affirmations letting things go you know seeing yourself in a better place releasing the pain you know like i told you before forgiving forgiving not because they deserve but to set your spirit free to set yourself free you understand what i'm saying it makes sense it makes sense you you're moving forward forget all that back stuff and not just just say forget it throw it away but you you cannot continue to resonate like this it doesn't make sense. You want to be a, 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 a healthy, successful, and loving mother. Work on it. Okay? You want to be a successful, loving mother. Work on it. How do you work on it? You got to work on yourself. When you begin working on yourself, everything else falls into place. And that's the reason why I'm saying give it about three or four months. Okay? Give it about, give it about your daughter's birthday. Okay, here it is. Next month is July. You, you, you know, and if you're doing this constantly, if you're doing a reputation constantly of working on yourself, believe it or not, beloved, you will change your world. You will change your world. I did it. Other people have done it with my guidance. It's okay. It happens. Okay. Wow. We're all living this journey. We're all, we're all learning different lessons. Okay, it's it's okay to fall. It's all to, it's okay to slip, but you gotta get up, and you gotta change. You have two beautiful children, okay, that that needs their mother. You don't want to be like your mother, okay? You you think about it. You don't want to be like your mother. You want to be like no. who you are, for your children, okay? And then um again, the children thing is very good with you. you that energy of you know, children, children is good. That's why I said. In the near future, when you get your spirit right and when you are balanced with your own family, okay, um, that's when you can start doing things for other people's family, for other people's family, but not now. Not now. You're, you're not. You're not ready. Wow. You're not spiritually now. ready. No. Mm -mm. Yeah. Wow. So, you know, again, like I said, if I would have known this before, you know, I cut, I, you know, I, but the, 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 the bath that I sent you, it, that one will, will, it, it, because it's a holistic bath, it's an all-purpose bath, it's for clearing, it's for healing, it's for abundance, it's for everything, so that will also help you, but I perhaps would have mixed it a little differently had I known a situation, you know, um, the situation, but again, in the near future, if you prefer, if you're interested, I can set one up for, you know, January or probably at the end of this month, you know. It, 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 everything that you can do to help yourself, I will recommend that you invest in yourself. That's it. It's all about investing in yourself. That's it. You're only trying to be a better person. That's it. That's all you're trying to do. <laughs> am I right or am I wrong? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's all you're trying to do is be a better person. You're trying to eat better. You're trying to... You know, not be so, so don't, not have too much tension because I am seeing the color red with you dealing with tension. 
okay emotions and tension you don't want you don't want that anymore you want to release that you want to let that go you want to be happy you want to be successful you want to be loving you want to be holistic you know so you know you got a lot of self work to do self evaluation as i told you before balancing both the physical and the spiritual aspect of who you are of who you are yeah it's not it's not easy it's not easy so try to Mm -hmm. I'm, just, I'm just trying to, you know, tell myself, okay, I'm just going to let this go. I'm just going to let it go. But you can't to let, you know, 15, I, I left my mom's house when I was 15 years old. And so to leave 15 years of, of pain and, and abandonment and negligence and all that, and to just wake up one day and say you're going to let it go, it just doesn't happen. And that's, and that's why I said it takes about, I, that's why I told you. Give it about your daughter's birthday. I told you it takes probably three or four months of consistency and dedication. Let me say something. You think that, and that's why I told you before, you know, I feel like you may need like a more of a deeper cleanse because this is something that's been happening for a very, very long time with you, okay, um, especially dealing with the family. So you can't just, you know, the next morning you wake up and you're just a new person. No, it takes time. That's what I said. Starting from now, if you if you be on your healing journey from now, taking your spiritual baths, doing your affirmation, cleansing your spirit, cleansing your soul, keeping a positive you know mindset, trying to balance yourself from now to May, you're gonna be a totally different person. You're gonna feel refreshed. You may even start losing weight because of you know because sometimes when we have a lot of weight on us, that's due to stress. You know, that's that's even due to stress. So, you know, I'm, yeah. You have, you have. I'm very, I've lost a lot of weight. I gained 80 pounds with both of my kids, mm -hmm. and I lost all of it. And I've actually been the skinniest I've ever been in my whole life. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm very uh, weak and tired, so I know that I'm not eating right and, you know, not sleeping good and, um, stressed out, so yeah. um, sometimes I ignore it because I, I look good, so mm -hmm. I look good, so whatever, you know, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if maybe if I, maybe I should be two or three hundred pounds, then, then maybe I would, like, pay more attention to myself because mm -hmm. I want to be thinner, you know? Mm -hmm. No, it happens. Yeah, I do know. Yeah, because, oh, I look good, and that's why I always tell some people, too, you know, just because you are skinny or you're not overweight does not mean that you're healthy because guess what a lot of us are not eating properly we're not you know receiving proper nutrients some of us are not some of us don't even eat fruits some of us don't even eat their vegetables you know when we do eat vegetables it's rather cooked down and no nutrients added so because you're slim does not mean that you're healthy um you want to build you want to begin building your iron your iron levels um, red raspberry tea is very good as a woman, and elderberry um, is also good as a woman. And I don't know if you can find that there where you live at, but over here, um, there's definitely things. And I also prepare tonics um, with both of those herbs as well, for only for the woman, because it's gonna it will help with the reproductive system, and it will also help with your blood. You say that you're feeling weak, you're feeling tired, that's the blood, Pro improper uh, blood circulation. That's exactly what's happening with you. So, um, drinking more water, I would recommend, um, and also zinc. You know, zinc and iron go hand for hand. Yeah, and I am anemic. I do have an iron deficiency. Yep. Um, I have it for, you know, about six years now, so. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm gonna inbox. I'm gonna inbox your husband, and I'm gonna um, send you the link to what you you know certain things that you can uh, order uh, to build up your iron. Uh, this this um this holistic business um, or company that's been around for many many years. You know the guy he's been healing people for for even perhaps long time. This business been in since 1973. So I'll send him the link. And what you're gonna get is the um, what are you gonna get the Maya? That's what you're gonna get. I'm gonna I'm gonna send all the information so you can begin to build your iron levels. 
Okay, but what you're purchasing is called the Maya. Okay. So yeah, you have a you have a that's what I was trying to tell you. You have a holistic shift um, that you are about to, you know, you're about to get into. And then take for example, you just had a birthday. You know, actually one month from today, one month from today was your birthday. So you're you're going into a new cycle, and it's interesting because now you you know you're receiving this reading. So it will help you in, in, with guidance of, okay, well, where where do I go from now? You know, I have a new birthday, a new cycle, a new chapter in my life. Where do I go? What do I need to work on? And from your spirit guides, as I told you, more so spiritual healing, self-healing, and family. Big, this big That family thing is coming very big with you, okay? And then, of course, cleansing, um, cleansing, you know, helping your daughter, you know, bathing her. Um, with 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 spiritual stuff as well. That is gonna be okay. It's gonna be just fine. You just have to be consistent. Okay. Wow. I'm definitely going to try really hard. You have to. To, to do this because I'm I'm tired of being, you know, unhappy. And mm -hmm. some days you're really happy, and some days you're. You know, you can't stop thinking about things that have happened to you. And, mm -hmm. you know, it puts a big um, stress on my relationship with Boyd because he uh, he's become so spiritual and he is trying to heal himself mm -hmm. and he's seeing things very clear and I'm still, like, stuck here, you know, in this, this physical realm and trying to deal with my past and... Mm -hmm. We argue a lot about it, and, you know, I've, it's I think okay. I've, uh, you know, pushed him away. Kind of, mm. I've pushed him out the door because I can't handle things that are wrong with myself, so I cannot properly love him mm -hmm. the way that he needs me to. So um, he, he was almost, you know, to the point of just giving up on me and leaving me. Mm. Because he couldn't understand why I couldn't love him mm -hmm. the way he wants. So I definitely want to fix myself and, you know, make myself feel more happier mm -hmm. because my family does need me. Yeah, and then, so, you know, um, again, you know, if, and, and crying, let me say something, crying is free and crying is a release. If you want to cry, when you take those baths, cry your eyes. Cry yourself a river. <laughs> cry your eyes out till you don't even know where you're going. Cry, 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 cry. You know, just cry. Cry, cry, cry. It doesn't matter. You're releasing. You're crying. You're, you know, you're, 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 you're getting it out of you. That's what I want you to do. That's, that's the whole purpose of me suggesting these different things. Because I want that tension. I want that to come out. It got to be, you know... Vacuum that thing out. Zoom, you know, get that, get it out, get it out, get out, out, go, cry. <laughs> All right, you know, not to say you, you know, you, it's not to say forget my past because you can never forget your past, but not to allow it to have so much uh, energy on you or so much power. You gotta let it go because you, the the key thing that you said is I feel stuck. The reason why you feel stuck is because you're still thinking about the same thing. Of course you're going to be stuck. Of course. Right. That's what happens. Uh, I want my past to, I want to look at my childhood and smile about it because it made me the type of person that I am. Mm -hmm. Because I'm very, unlike my parents, I'm not a selfish person. I am a very generous person and caring person. And I oftentimes care more about others than I do about myself, so mm -hmm. I want to be able to be happy about what happened to me because it did make me who I am mm -hmm. instead of being this good person but being angry about mm -hmm. everything that was done to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, again, and that's why I said, that's why I said forgive, and let me tell you something, you know, it doesn't take effort. You know, when you're going to work or when you wake up in the morning or even in the shower, release affirmations. Just whatever whatever is comfortable with you, you know. And when I say release affirmations, you can even say, I release my past. 
I am no longer uh, angry. I am no longer angry. I am happy. Things like that. That makes you happy. I am loving. I am beauty. I am beautiful. I am healed. I am powerful. I am loved again. I am thankful. That's, that's affirmation. That is claiming what you want. This is claiming who you are. I am successful. I am loving. I am a mother. I am a healer. You you don't you you don't it doesn't take no effort for that. You driving in your car. If you have a car, you driving in your car, you say your affirmation. You in a shower, you say your affirmation. Right before you go to bed, you say your affirmation. It's effort, dedication, consistency. Yep. Wow. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah, but you know, when you come across somebody like me, <laughs> when you come across somebody like me, you know, you 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 feel a thousand times better, and I believe I succeeded again in this in this session. So, you know, I want to. Oh, thank I'm very, uh, I'm very very glad that I um, uh, you know, had a reading my last the last reading I had didn't um it didn't turn out well. The the actual reading in itself was good and it was enlightening to me, but the outcome was not very good because she developed a um crush on Floyd. She and developed so what, what was came, it? Huh? What did she develop? A crush, I guess you could say, or a feeling for oh. um Floyd. Because oh. I met her first, and then I recommended Floyd to talk to her and stuff about his dad that passed away and everything. And she opened his mind to spirituality, um, but then she also, you know, uh, developed feelings for him and wanted to um, come down here and, and see him and things like that. So it kind of ended badly, and I have a bad taste in my mouth about her, and that's why I won't talk to her anymore. But... I'm just glad that when you talked to me, you didn't tell me that I would be having another child because when I had talked to her, she told me that I would be pregnant with my son very soon, and about 30 days later, I was pregnant with him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not, oh, what, very, that's, very not what your, that's not what your spirit guides are telling me. So I don't I don't feel like they think that that is more so important. I feel like the again, beloved. You have to clean clean out the old only to receive the new. So t to help you get where you need to be, we got to deal with past situations. Um, and it's the family thing. As I the first the first thing that I told you was the family. So that's what is more so resonating with your spirit guides to help you on your spiritual journey on this journey that you're taking. You know. Wow. Um, yeah. And again, you know, every every medium and every psychic, I'm not a psychic, I'm a medium. So everybody is different. One person can see this, another person can see that. But with me, I more so deal with the importance of what is happening with this person to help them get out of whatever it is that they're going through. And for you, you need, like, you know, you, you, you have to, I have to shine a light on you to tell you, hey, hey, you know, this is what's happening. Look at this. You need to deal with this. <laughs> you know, look at this. You Very need to, stubborn. Yeah, hey, <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, you know, look at this. You need to deal with this to move forward, you know, and it happens. Yep. Wow. Yeah, I I have a big problem with that. I don't listen. You know, Floyd tells me, hey, this person in your life, I can see it, I can feel it, but this person in your life is going to screw you over. And I don't listen to him. Mm -hmm. Keep giving to them. Mm -hmm. Keep giving them my energy. And then they screw me over. That's why I told you it's not about nobody else. It's about your family. I told you that. I said it. Yeah. I think I covered about two or three, the three or four, important things within this session and again you know um it's recorded so i will definitely you know send this to you and you can just keep looking at it and as i always tell my clients every time someone look at their video 
other things come about like oh that oh you know other epiphanies i guess um comes about um when you watch the video over and over okay all right yeah so again katie thank you so much um thank floyd again for recommending me to you um i'm honored um if you know anyone else that you know can benefit from my readings you feel free to recommend them um emailing me is the best option you know floyd has my information and you know and i wish you well i wish you i wish you well well thank you okay. do you recommend doing um like getting readings do you recommend your clients to get readings from you more than once in a period of time this is uh, that's a good question. What I tell my what I tell my clients is this: um, don't always run to me for a reading. I'm gonna be honest, you know, I'm, because me, I'm not about the money. I, I'm constantly I, I get clients. I want my clients to be more self sufficient. But if there's a situation where you feel like you need guidance or you need like a second opinion, then come to me. Before you go within, I feel like go within first. And if there's something that you can't figure out or it's something like, you know what, or if your spirit is telling you, listen, you know, contact Mama Ella, or contact her, or go to her, then come to me. But I always, I always want my spirit, um, I mean, my clients to go within to, only to strengthen the relationship that they have with their own spirit. Now, if you went within and you feel like, you know what, I want to read in then come to me. That's not a problem. Come. I will help you. But, you know, um, because a lot of people will, many people get upset with getting readings, getting readings, and for me it's more so of guiding people, and I only want people to get closer to their own spirit because at the end of the day, you got to follow your spirit. And if you don't follow your spirit, you're moving away from your spirit. So I do recommend my clients to come to me only if they are in deep need of guidance or just, you know, a reading or something of that nature. Right. Okay. And I'm just being, I'm just being cold hearty. You know, sometimes people will get a reading from me once a month. That's fine. You know, if you want to get a reading from me once a month or every two months, that's fine. You know, just updates and see, you know, because every session is different. Today, I'm telling you about family. The next session, I'll be maybe telling you about uh, something whole, di you know, something completely different. It all depends on what your spirit guide tells me. And each session is going to be different. Each session is different. Because next month, you're going to be a completely whole no another person. Right. You know? Yeah, it's, it's so hard to, I guess, for you to gather, you know, gather everything about someone, you know, in just one day. Right. right. You know, the, because there's so, cause there's so many things about, you know, that make up a person, so, so many experiences, and I guess so many pieces of advice that they need. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. I'm understanding that the family is what is most important for me right now, right? Yes, the family is important for you, but, but, there's, there's a but there, but the, um, the tension inside of you is also important. That's, that's, that's where it begins. The family comes second after you healing yourself. You got to heal yourself. You're the mother of the house. So you're like the go-to person. Before your children go to their father, they go to you first. So you need to release the tension within yourself. And then you can begin, you know, building with your family too. It starts with you. You got to look at the man in the mirror. It starts with you. Okay. Yeah. But a lot of times I uh, have tension. And I get, uh, I tell myself, okay, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get mad about this. I'm not gonna say mean things to this person. Mm. And I have this tension build up, and I can't control it. 
honestly. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's not that they did something. I take it out a lot on Floyd. Um, he's been like my punching bag pretty much. And I feel like he came into my life to save me mm-hmm. because he was, um, you know, I was in a very bad way when he met me. So mm-hmm. um, he has showed me these things, you know, sent me to you in the spiritual bath. Mm. And he's bought me crystals and things. And um, a lot of times I'm, he, this one little thing will aggravate me and it's from something else that's making me aggravated. Like, you know, it's under pressure, it's repressed, but I take it out on him and, you know, say something mean to him, call him a name or Mm -hmm. get an attitude with them or or something. And then afterwards, I like want to kick myself. Like, why did I do that to him? That I don't want to treat him that way. I don't feel that way about him, but I can't help but to treat him like that. Because you're because taking everything out. Yeah, because you got past you got past family issues. You 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 still upset about past things. You still you still have that that uh, that anger inside of you, and that's why I'm telling you that you have to constantly spiritually cleanse yourself. I'm telling you now, beloved, that three day bath that I send you is good, but that's just the start. That is just a start. It's good. It's good, but it's just a start. You have a lot of releasing that you have to do. Okay, you have a I lot. I definitely, I'm definitely interested in you uh, making something. Yeah. Specifically for me. Um, you need to be I more like calm and uh, uh, more, uh, more so. With you is what I will prepare for you is I will prepare a releasing bath, you know, helping you to release. And let me tell you something. This is not going to happen overnight. Even though you're taking, you know, being honest, I'm always honest with my clients. Even though you're taking these spiritual baths and you're taking these affirmations, you're doing these things, this stuff doesn't just happen overnight because you've been going through this for a very, very long time. You are just helping yourself to get over with these things. And that's why you will use these spiritual baths and things of that nature. But like I told you before, dedication, being dedicated to taking your bath and being consistent. Dedication and consistency and you will see a change. And that's with every anything, you know. But right. with me, um with me, um, and I'll and I'll give it to you at the discounted price, you know, of forty dollars, um, because I'm holding the holding the sale up until December thirty first. But with me, even as I'm speaking to you, you need more of a, like a releasing, a clearing and releasing back, releasing the pain, releasing the tension, releasing the anger, like helping you to release, helping you to let go. You know, that's what that's that's that's. That is the key thing for you, you know. That's the key thing for you. That's a specific bath for you. That's what it is. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely like that. Yeah, that's that's what you need. That's that's what that's perfect. That's compatible with you. Yeah. So yeah. So you know, let me know, and um, you have my information, right? Um and yeah. When, when, yeah, so then up until the the December thirty first, I'm holding this sale of forty bucks for these um these baths. Uh, the regular pl- the regular price for spiritual baths are sixty five dollars. So anything after December thirty first will be sixty five dollars. But for now, I'm holding like a end of the year, you know, um spiritual detox sale. So I'm giving it up for forty. So let me know you have my information um you know email me or whatnot and you know i'll 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 help you out I'll, that's what I'm here for I definitely help you out I definitely know what you need yep I really appreciate it yeah I really appreciate you too and I know you and I know you want help so you know all is well yep. yeah it's time to make a change trying to make a change i don't yep. want I don't want to be my mom my mom is single. She's a man here. Mm-hmm. She's miserable. Yeah. 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 
All right. Well, you know, I thank you for your time. You know, I um, thank you for choosing me to help you. And, um, you know, stay positive. Stay blessed. All right, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.